Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our seminar. My name is Juha Teperi. I come from the University of Tampere. And uh, as I said, you are all most welcome to this, I believe, very interesting seminar. According to the program, Professor Marku Pekurinen should say something about something general about the topic discussed today. As uh, most Finns around know, uh, we've had a very important working group by the Ministry of Social Affairs and Health dismantling the multi-channel uh, funding system of the Finnish social and health care. And on this very hour, this working group is giving its report to the ministers at the Ministry of Social Affairs and Health. And Marku, being a very uh, important part of that working group, has to be around there. And he will join us only after the media conference is over later. So I'll, I'll try to say just a few words about the topic in general before we get our first speakers to the floor. When thinking about reforms of health and social care, it's obvious that you can't simply export or import them from one setting to another. Um, all the systems are very complicated. They have long histories which create various kinds of path dependencies. Of course, we can learn a lot about other countries' reform experiences. We can analyze them, and after understanding the dynamics, we can apply this uh, to our own reforms, but not simply import something. That's impossible. But when you think about the ideas behind the reforms, the goals, general goals of the reforms, you notice that these are things that are exported and imported all the time. They are kind of very global things. Today we are going to discuss two ideas of that sort. Uh, freedom of choice for the patients and service integration. They, these ideas have been around for quite a while. We, we could at least claim that Finland has been one of the forerunners in service integration. Think about the step in 1960s when the health issues were taken from the Ministry of Internal Affairs and combined with social ministry. That was one reflection of that kind of early ideology. The health center concept was a kind of service integration uh, project for its part. During the uh, uh, last years and uh, decades, uh, these service integration projects in Finland have been quite administrative in their nature. And probably our successes in true service process and service provision uh, integration has been, it's probably been uh, less successful than this uh, administrative side. On the patient choice side, uh, the, the, the situation is a bit diffi uh, different because uh, we have not been there yet for a long time. We have had some uh, limited uh, uh, initiatives. We have implemented some policies related to patient choice, but other countries have done much more, much earlier, many of those countries. This obviously gives us a very good position to learn uh, from others. As most of us here today understand, there's a tension between these two ideas, idea of service integration and idea of patient choice. To make it very simple, in a, a situation of uh, perfect and, uh, and um, Unlimited patient choice, there's no room for integration. And in totally integrated system, there's no room for patient choice. But this black and, world, black and white world is not true. 
there are so many shades of gray. Sometimes our politicians may be tempted to think in terms of uh, white and uh, black. Someone may, of you may have seen what our ministers said in Helsingin Sanomat, our biggest daily, just this morning. It seemed like our two social ministers uh, took the other one took the black side and the other one the white side. Us, as experts uh, and, and researchers, it's for us to find, understand, first identify and then understand the dynamics between these shades of grey and uh, realize the options for the real world uh, reforms where, where the combinations are never black or white. So this is exactly what we are going to do today. Uh, the, the first part, the morning part, we'll be learning from our international colleagues' experiences and their analysis in the Nordic countries. And in the afternoon, we'll change the language to Finnish, and we'll hear some of the newest research results in our own settings regarding this, these two ideas and the tension between them.